What is up? What is good? What is going on? Knuckleheads and wet shave fans. Coming at you from my shave den. Today we're going to be using a new soap. Um, this is my menthol week, so I'm using all mentholator cooling soaps. Uh, yesterday I used Parasso Green. My first foray, well one of my first forays in the colder soaps. Today, we got a treat. Yeti Snot. I have never tried this. I'm excited to give it a whirl because I've heard it's quite cold and keep it away from my eyes. Luckily I've got a beard so I'm not going to be shaving anywhere near my eyes. But we're going to see how cold this is. And as a pre-shave, we're actually going to be using Phoenix Mentholated Ice. So we're going to give that a whirl. Razor-wise, the Tatara loaded with a feather. Brush-wise, the beautiful Dogwood Brush Crafts Tuxedo Knot. Absolutely stunning brush. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the pre-shave soap. Let me know what the coldest soap you guys have used. Um, I think for me, uh, Bosch Dock is the coldest. I don't even know how to use this, so let's get it directly on. It's a pre-shave and lather booster, so. I don't know if it's that cooling, but we'll give it a go. You can definitely smell a little bit of menthol in there, like a little tingle. Yeah, not bad. We'll see if it boosts the leather. Now, we load the snot. This is a glycerin, must be a glycerin based soap, um, just judging by the color. Uh, it's clear, looks like jello. We're going to load it up here. I've never tested it or pre test lathered it, so I have no idea how the lather works. There is a decent lathering soap, though, so that's good. We'll give it a go. My brush brush was pretty dry when I loaded it up, so that being said, I don't need too much soap when it's doing my neck. And actually, this, this pre-shave is cool. I can feel it now kicking in there. So let's get going with this snot here. I loaded up my brush. Let's give it a go. I usually find after the first pass is when you, when you rinse it off. I'm going to be doing a cold water rinse. That's when you notice how uh, cold something is. I can smell it and I can feel how cold this is. This is chilly. I put a little water in my brush here. Ooh, I think I might put too much just to get that lather a little bit less dry. Oh yeah, that's, this is chilly. Not a bad lather at all. Not like the super voluminous that you get from some, but I wasn't really expecting a huge voluminous lather, so but this is cold. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can imagine this on the face being bringing a tear to your eye. Let's see here. Couldn't remember if this is my third or my fourth shave with this blade. That sex, I'm just doing my neck. It should last four shaves. Easy. So this razor is by far in my top two. This in the carve as far as uh, modern DEs, just phenomenal. Oh, I just nicked myself, I can feel that. Just outstanding shavers. Great balance. And this is like kind of a proprietary design, so you can't use it with other razor heads. Well, you can use it with another Tatara razor head. I was going to say I nicked myself right there. I could feel it. Just because I was rushing. This soap is cold, I will say that. Nice and slick though, it's got some good slickness behind it. Let's do a cold water rinse and really... Whew, yeah, nice and cold. Not crazy cold though, like I... I don't know. Okay, it's cold. So let's uh, get some more lather going. It's got that menthol smell, that minty menthol 
Sent. Let's smack on, paint on some more leather there. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, yeah, it's cold. Okay, it's cold. It's cold, but it's not unbearable cold. I think some soaps just go for that crazy, too cold thing. That said, a lot of guys say uh, chiseled face cryogen is the soap to beat for cold. Apparently you can see the menthol crystals in the soap, which means that's a cold, cold ass soap. Great shade with the guitar. I love this razor. There we go. Yeah, it gets and it gets colder with each pass. Yeah, I can see this being really cold. If I did a face shave with this. Ooh. Um Yeah. I want to thank uh, Triple B again for the awesome giveaway on Instagram. This is one of those soaps I wanted to try, but I didn't really want to buy a full puck because I didn't know if it was going to be so cool I wouldn't enjoy it. But that was actually pretty enjoyable. I like that. Not too bad. Oh, cold water rinse to wake you up here. There we go. I don't know if I can use a post-shave today. We'll see. We'll leave it for now. As for the beard, I'm going to go with the... Uh, Tropical Beard Balm from uh, Beards and Beavers um, out of Toronto. I love this stuff. This smells like summer. It just smells like coconut, pineapple, like, yeah, just awesome. Rub some in my fingers, rub some in my hands, and just put it in the beard. I love the scent of this stuff. Last, too. I love it. I get a little whiff of it all day. Kind of keeps some of my scraggly scraggly hairs in place there we go excellent there we go all right so that was a quick shave eight minutes not even eight minutes um again we pre-shaved with the phoenix mentholated ice we went with the yeti snot it is cold i can still feel it cooling down more and more so it is definitely a cold soap and to leather it all up we use the dogwood brush this thing's awesome i love this brush beautiful and to finish it off, we went with the Tropical Beard Balm. This is a limited edition. I don't know if anybody else has this yet. Fantastic stuff. And the Tatara Razor. Just amazing, 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 amazing razor. One little nick there, but that was my own fault for rushing there. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a great day. What is your favorite mentholated soap? Which one is the coldest? Let me know down below. I've got three or four more mentally soaps I can use this week. So keep an eye. I'll try to put in a video maybe tomorrow, um, Friday for sure, one or the other. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Deuces.